Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. When we ordered our 2022 Ford Maverick long-term test vehicle, it took a long time to get here. And I mean a really long time, and partly because it was a hybrid. And about halfway through the six-month process, they sent us an email saying, we're really sorry it's taking so long. We're gonna send you a Fitz accessory kit. Now, what this is, it's a kit of items that goes along with a Ford integrated tether system for the interior. So it finally came two months after our vehicle arrived. And so we're gonna do an unboxing and sort of walk through how all these things really fit in. So let's get started. I haven't even cut this box open yet. This is directly what it looked like and how it came to me from my dealership. So let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. First thing I see here is a nice letter. Cool things come to those who wait. We know you're excited to get behind the wheel of your Maverick pickup and start living the truck life. Actually, I did that two months ago before this arrived. We want to thank you for your patience and for being one of our first Maverick owners by providing you with this Ford integrated tether system accessory kit. The fit slots allow you to personalize your truck and this kit includes a storage bin, cup holder, phone cord organizer, bag hooks, and underseat storage dividers. Whatever you're into, you'll be ready to make it with Maverick. Next is a little packet of instructions in multiple languages that show you where the fit slots are and how to use these. All right, so the first thing here are some dividers that fit into that storage cubby underneath the rear seat. These are something that I actually see some good use for. I may actually take advantage of that. There's actually two different sizes because the depths are two different sizes in the back. Here is a bin. This is actually the trash bin. This is actually pretty well made. Well done, I like that. This is the phone cord organizer. Nice Ford logo. That's pretty creative. And this is a bag holder. So you can put a plastic bag, like a trash bag, and hang that over that. And then last but not least is the cup holder. Pretty slick. Now, one thing I've noticed here is all of these are molded in dark blue, so they're going to match the interior. Let's see how these all fit and work. First item to get the test is the trash bin. That just slides down in there. That does fit nice and snug. And with the seat down, that fits perfectly in there. Next item is the cup holder. That should have just been there in the first place, but that does work rather nicely. And with the seat down, that looks like it's out of the way, even if you had somebody straddling their legs over it. Next up is the charging wire thing. You wrap a wire around that. Now, in my case, I've just got a 12 volt plug back here. So if I had an adapter and I needed to have something to keep a cable from being all over the place, that might be pretty cool. And the last little thing is this bag holder. And that's to get a handle plastic bag and hang those over there. If you have different ones, maybe from the market and you don't want them to go all over the place, that's kind of a neat little idea for that. For these dividers, there's actually two sizes, a small one and a large one. And that's because you'll notice that there's two different heights for these slots. This one actually has one end that's higher than the other. And so you have to utilize that when you place it and then this other larger design goes here and you sort of have to pull it to get it to fit tight in here there frankly those are items i think should have been included with the truck if i'm honest so if you have a lot of little things i think these are great these are probably something i'm definitely going to keep in here the other side is going to be the same thing unless in my case you have a hybrid and most of that area over there is actually taken up with a 12 volt battery but if you have an EcoBoost, you have a mirror image of this on the passenger side 
Well, now I don't know if I would spend $50 for this myself, if I'm honest. It was a nice little freebie to get, although I think we, we as Maverick purchasing people who waited six months or longer to get these things, I think a $50 box full of plastic, um, I really would have maybe more appreciated a few hundred dollars worth of uh, you know Ford accessories or some other kind of thing that they could have given us. I think $50 retail value as a parting gift for waiting so long. Um, I don't know. Some of this stuff's pretty cool though. I mean, it fits nicely, it's well made. The trash bin and the cup holders, uh, probably something I'm going to use and the dividers for underneath that seat. Uh, that's in my truck right now. That's already put in, that's staying. So uh, some of these things are kind of goofy and gimmicky, but uh, nonetheless, you can buy this kit on the Ford Accessories website. It is listed as the fifth accessory kit under the Ford Maverick. Um, so there you go. If you want to see more of our Ford Maverick coverage, we have a full playlist right there. Better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. We've got a lot of technical and how-to coming up around the Ford Maverick.